I'm going to talk about logic gates and just the bare basics of them. Uh, so the idea here is I've got some kind of circuit or part of a circuit and I'm thinking about the electricity kind of flowing this way. It goes a lot faster than I do the arrows, but uh, and then I've got these shapes in here like this first shape, this thing is an AND gate, and the second thing is an OR gate, this thing here at the end is an inverter or a NOT gate. Now if you've watched some of my other videos, uh, we did a lot with truth values, and here when we're looking at gates, uh, we're going to correspond true with the number 1, and we're going to correspond false with the number 0. Alright, given that information, uh, let's look at what some of these gates are. So, a NOT gate, well, it only has one input and one output, so A could either be a 0 or a 1. Now, if A was a 0, a NOT gate is going to make it a 1, and if A was a 1, a NOT gate is going to make it a 0. Notice that that looks a little upside down compared to what we had done with our true-false uh, truth tables. We have the, the false or the 0 on top. So in a similar way, when I'm doing this AND gate, for my inputs, first I'm going to start under B and go 0, 1, 0, 1. Then under A, I'm going to go 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, and again, this is upside down because I have my zeros at the top, which were my falses. Now if you think about an AND gate, AND was only true when they were both true. It's the same thing here. An AND gate, this physical thing, is only a 1 if they were both 1's. So the output of this AND gate, so 0 and 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 0, 1 and 0 is 0, and 1 and 1 is 1. Okay, that's what an AND gate does. It's only 1 if they're both 1. Let's look at our other two basic gates. So an OR gate works just like our OR did. OR was only false when they were both false, so an OR gate is only 0 when they're both 0. So 0 or 0 is 0, 0 or 1 is 1, 1 or 0 is 1, and 1 or 1 is 1. And then we didn't, I don't have a video out there for exclusive OR, I may now by the time I'm recording this, but exclusive OR is one or the other, but not both. So it's only true when one, exactly one of them is true. Uh, or it's only zero if the inputs match. So for exclusive OR, uh, zero exclusive OR zero is zero. Zero exclusive OR one is one. One exclusive OR zero is one. And one exclusive OR one is zero. Okay, so an exclusive OR gate looks like that. Zero, one, one, zero. Now, we have three other gates that are related to those we just did. Um, the NAND gate is just not AND, so it has the opposite values of AND. Remember AND was 0, 0, 0, 1, so NAND is 1, 1, 1, 0. Similarly, for our NOR gate, our NOR gate is going to be the opposite of the OR gate, so it is not OR, so remember OR was 0, 1, 1, 1, so NOR is 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, and to read through the NOR gate there, uh, 0, NOR, 0 is 1, 0, NOR, 1 is 0, 1, NOR, 0 is 0, and 1, NOR, 1 is 0. Okay, and similarly, in our X NOR gate, this is the exclusive NOR, which is actually not the exclusive OR instead, we just say XNOR because it's easier to say than XOR. Anyway, XNOR, not the exclusive OR gate. Uh, remember, exclusive OR was 0, 1, 1, 0. So XNOR is 1, 0, 0, 1. You may notice that that is the same truth table as if and only if. So in fact, if and only if is the same as XNOR, uh, not the exclusive OR. One more quick note here, these are real things. Okay, I got this uh, picture from the website noted there. Uh, these are actual things. So here's a chip, it has inside of it, here's an input, here's an input. It takes those inputs and puts them through this NAND gate. Notice it's a NAND gate because it has that dot on the front. And here comes the output of that. 
And in fact, this chip is just for NAND gates uh, with a power supply and a ground. Okay, so this chip is physically for NAND gates.